Femi X8 SE 2020. Now, Bill the Drone Reviewer here. If you like the content from this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night I hosted Rotor Talk Live and I spent a considerable amount of the evening talking about the Femi X8 SE 2020. In particular, in one of the segments, I paid particular attention to my interactions with Femi customer service and I passed on several tips. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. Femi X8 SE 2020. Now I'm sure most of you have already seen, you know, I, I got my replacement. Um, and it came back, it came back fairly quickly, which I was very pleased about. And I've taken my first flight and so far so good. And I have another video coming up at the end of this week. So you guys can, can look out for that. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about for a few minutes with everybody tonight is everybody's really amazed at how fast I got it back. And I've, I've gotten quite a few comments and, and they've been nice, but saying that I, that I have some favor with Femi because I got my drone back so fast. And well, l l let me, let me kind of square things up here just so everybody understands here. Um, you know, I, I want to go back to when I first ordered the Femi. Now you remember I ordered it through Banggood through the USA warehouse and it was sat there April. May, June, July, okay? No change in the status. They sent me communications, you know, it's not in stock and, and all this. So finally what I did was it showed in stock at the China warehouse. I reordered it and sure enough, I got it in about 17 days, which was, I thought was fantastic for Banggood when I, when I, when I got the, the first one, the original unit. And everybody said, well, you know, you got that replacement back. That was so fast. And that's because, you know, you're doing the, you're doing this for Femi. Let me let me clear up some things. And and I and I want to make crystal clear about this because I've had several comments and some of them were kind of terse. And I and I want to make sure of this. Number one, and this is really important, and I want everybody to understand this point. I paid for the drone. Okay. In no way did Femi or Banggood compensate me with this drone. This drone was bought and paid for. By my own personal funds. Let's go, let's make completely crystal clear on that point. Okay. Number two. Okay. If I had favor with Femi, you know what would have happened? I would have received that first drone right straight away. Okay. I would have received that like nobody as soon as it would have been announced if I had had such pull and favor with them. So, you know, I, I kind of want to debunk some of this stuff. Here's the thing, okay, and I want to pass this on as some ad advice to everybody, okay, when you're dealing with Femi, if you're having issues with them, all right, number one, be polite with them. They are absolutely fantastic um, when you're polite with them, okay? I can't say enough about that. You know, the, the old adage that Mr. Rogers said, be kind, be kind, be kind, okay? Okay. It really makes a big difference with them, okay? Because if you go nuclear on them, guys, you know what? They're going to shut you down in a heartbeat. And I don't care if it's here in the States or if it's over in China. They will shut you down, okay? Number two, when they ask you for information, give them everything they're asking for, okay? Everything. You know, I took six pictures of it from all the sides. They wanted a close-up picture of the screws to see if it had been opened up, okay? And that's important because when you open that chassis up, it voids the warranty. So you don't have any warranty with that left, all right? I sent, sent them those pictures. They also asked for the black box information, which is the flight logs, which I provided to them. I zipped the file and sent it to them. I also had a complete form to fill out, and it was red asterisk where I needed to fill this information in. I got all of that information to them. I also had to provide my original bill of sale from Banggood. I provided that to them. You know, give them everything that they're asking for, you know. And also, you know, my original, I I put a link for, for my video that had the problem with it, all right, where, where they could they could see the problem. And it was 
very apparent what my problem was. Okay, you know, with the with the loss of signal, the disconnect, um, you know, the g getting the message, you know, fail safe return. It was it was very apparent. It, it was right there. Um, you know, so um, yeah, and I paid. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, you're right. And I paid fifty six dollars. I paid also had to pay for shipping back fifty six dollars. Now, granted, okay, as I said, they gave me a new battery with this. That was my compensation for that, which I'll take all day long, okay? $56 for this probably $75 battery, I'll take it, right? You know, and all, all's good with that, you know? And also, you know, shipping it back is not an easy thing because you have to fill out a, number one, you can't use FedEx or UPS because it'll, it'll be delayed in customs, you have to use the the post office, okay? And filling out a customs form took me two hours to figure it out. All right, online, and and I, and I figured it out. Um, it's not easy, okay? So you know, it took me a good two hours to do that, plus fifty six bucks. I mean, so all that with all that being said, okay, you know, this was something I put a lot of effort into, and you know. I, I was I got a favorable result. Now, you know, I know some of you have said, you know, you've had some issues that that were that were different from mine. You know, I, I understand something, okay? You know, when you contact Femi, all right, you want to be very specific. Just don't say, um, my drone's video doesn't look right. Okay. You want to and the other thing is, you know, describe it in detail what's going on. And and I gotta say this, guys. Provide them a video of it. If, if you have a gimbal issue and it shows that horizon is off tilt, send them the video, okay? If you have a screenshot, okay, if, if you've taken a screen recording, I always, this is something I highly advise, guys, you know, every single time. I take a screen recording because if a disaster happens, okay, and my drone crashes, disintegrates, falls into the lake, you know, uh, you know, a bird carries it away, you know, I still have, I have proof of that happening, especially, you know, for my insurance, because my drones are covered on my personal articles policy through State Farm, okay? They're covered here in Florida. They'll do that. I know the, I think the only state they don't do that is California. So they're covered. You know, that's, that's one thing. You know, the, the other thing is this, you know, just, you know, like I said, you know, provide them that information and also, and dot your I's and cross your T's, meaning, you know, if there are firmware updates, do the firmware updates and then go out and test. And then when you do when you do the firmware updates, and this is a practice that I've gotten into, and I do this with my DJI drones as well, okay? I do all the calibrations, okay? Now, when I got the new one, okay, as you saw in there, okay, I did, I had a firmware update to do. I did a gimbal calibration. I did a remote control calibration, especially since it was brand new. And I did a compass calibration on there. And I also formatted, and I didn't show that on there. I think I may have, I formatted the SD card, okay? So, you know, set yourself up for success. And, you know, the, the, the big thing, like I said, you know, one of the things they'll invariably ask you, have you done all the firmware updates? Take a screenshot of where your firmware updates are on the aircraft. It's very easy to navigate. To, to find that to find that panel. So you know this is this these are my updates. I got a new video coming out later this week. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, you know it, it's it's a blast flying the new one. I, I will tell you that I'm having a, a lot of fun. And yeah, as you guys saw, I was thrilled. Okay, when I got it, and I'm still very thrilled about it. It's just, but I, I got to say this right now, the way the weather in Florida is, it's atrocious. Question of the day. Have you used any of the tips that I've suggested in this video when dealing with Femi customer service? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.